everybody out of Vienna, Austria again. Hello, my fans, my dear subscribers, my dear YouTube watchers. How are you doing? Somebody lost something already here. So, behind me we have the, the entry door of uh, Emperor's Castle in Vienna, uh, built originally in the 13th century. Oh my god, the sun is hitting me, I need to put on my sunglasses. Anyway, uh, we are starting here in uh, the other side of the street because uh, basically we are having here a natural historic museum and a museum of art uh, from Vienna and why I want to show this because uh, basically there were the uh, treasure chambers of the emperors in Vienna before they made it uh, museums uh, in 1800 something, I don't know exactly but um, yeah, this here is a, a statue of uh, Mary Theresia. She invented public school in Austria, and she was actually the one who opened uh, these two treasure chambers for museums here in Austria. There are twin uh, buildings. One is on the left, and one is on the right. And actually, behind this, we have another building over here. It's the museum uh, quarter that were basically back then the, the, the horses uh, still where they put the horses inside uh, for conquering any other uh, or fighting any other uh, country. And um, yeah, it, it's very beautiful. It has a nice garden as you can see. And we will walk from here actually to the other side. To the other side behind me into the Emperor's Castle because uh, it is the biggest um, building complex in Europe which has no religious meaning so it will be a very long video today as I guess and I hope you have fun. See you! This door, I mean, and everybody who was uh, having a visit for the emperor in Vienna had to enter here, just like the car did. And we will enter as well now. I will show you a little bit of uh, the emperor's castle. As you can see, the sun is not blending me anymore. But uh, I tend to don't make bloopers. I don't want to be a, uh, like a, I don't know a perfectionist or professional. I just want to give you and very authentic tour, everybody makes uh, errors when talking, everybody is human, you know, it's like that, sometimes Satan is helping us, but anyway, <laughs> so right now we are entered here in the, in the door of the castle, and we are now at the uh, Heldenplatz, we call it in, in Austrian, 
or chairman, call it what you want. Uh, it's basically uh, the hero place, hero, hero's place. And every year on 26th of October, they are doing a military parade on this place. And it's also um, very famous because uh, we have two statues with horses. One is here and the other one is here. I explain to you later what is this. This is, by the way, the uh, uh, newest tract of, of, the, of the castle. Uh, there is the Sisi Museum inside uh, from uh, Emperor Elizabeth and her husband uh, Franz. And um, basically, this building here behind me is where the uh, president of uh, Austrian uh, is working every day. So this place is one of the most famous in Austria. And uh, we are also having a church here in the background this year is one of the oldest churches in, in whole Europe. It's called uh, Minoritenkirche, Minoriten Church. And it's uh, very, very old. And this castle around me, by the way, is uh, a big complex. It's the biggest uh, complex, which is not religious in Europe, I already said that. But anyway, and um, it was built in 300 something, I don't know exactly until um, 1880 something, I'm not sure about that either, but uh, well, it's 500 years of building and you can see they have uh, different uh, stones and different um, buildings and colors and something, that's because they built always a little bit more uh, into a big complex and uh, we also have the stones like from this contract, we have stones, they are called um, Kaiserstein, which means basically stone from the emperors. We have uh, our own places uh, outside, maybe 50 kilometers from here. They are having, um, um, they are working the stones from the mountains and uh, carry them here and build the castle with that. They have their own stone for that. So it's, it's very, very famous. You can see here a nice exhibition of cars. You can rent them actually, as you can see, and very, very expensive. It's a nice alternative to the Vienna Fiaca. The Fiacas are called the uh, guys on horses with the uh, cattle uh, back then, and uh, they still do that. But right now, if we want to do that, it's for 20 minutes like 50 euros or something. It's not very cheap, but uh, well, it's a tourist place, you know. So basically, this place here behind me, behind the state where you can see the, the government house, which I did in the first block. So in this direction is the rose garden from uh, Elizabeth I showed you in my last block. And uh, I will explain to you now what this state means and what this state means. And then we go inside in the uh, actual castle. No. Enjoy. Back again, hello. Uh, right in stand in front of the statue of uh, Prince Eugen, who actually lived in, in Vienna in another castle. I will show you in the far future because we have so much to see. And uh, this was built in 1865 by the Emperor um, Franz Josef. And um, for this guy. Uh, Prince Eugen was a, a very, very loyal, uh, knight, let's say knight, yeah, knight, uh, from the emperor. And the, the special thing about uh, the statue is uh, it stands on, on two feet, not many um, um, statues like this uh, stand on two feet, but um, it was actually uh, built by uh, a guy who was learning to make statues like this. So uh, he, he 
he failed to, to make it on two feet, so the, the tail of the horse is uh, making the state away so it doesn't uh, fall over and maybe hurting somebody. Um, I think a couple of tons <laughs> is too much. But uh, I want to show you something. I'm, we are going now to the other state uh, because uh, the master of art uh, who was teaching him to do a statue like this. He built a statue because he failed and he said, I show you how it's possible to have a horse standing on only two feet. And it's a very funny story, not many people know about this. But, uh, well, I work in the uh, city planning department and I know a lot of secret history about Vienna as well. Because uh, sometimes I go on my lunch break with my colleagues and they already tell me so many stories. So, basically, I know very much about my hometown. That's what I mean with the horses. But anyway, not cheap. But, um, well, if you're here, you have to experience it if you never ride a horse like this. <laughs> if you want to feel like Princess Elizabeth tried, I, I personally, I think it's not worth it. It's too expensive. Just get a Uber. You can get Uber in Vienna, no problem at all. But, uh, yeah, so. Here you can see another statue, but only on two feet. So the master of art did it with only his two feet and not for uh, the, the statue over. So he showed his, his guy who he was teaching how to do it. It's possible. And actually, this is the only one statue in the whole world for a horse on only two feet. So. It's pretty amazing, and it's um, this is the the Erzherzog Charles from Austria. So he was, uh, I think, he was from the Turkish was I'm not sure. I have to research that. But anyway, at this building here, and on the other side too, behind me, we have twin buildings. They were made because uh, the Parliament was on the construction for so many years and they renewed it uh, i will show you in another video but um they renewed uh, the parliament and uh, meanwhile the, the the politicians working in the parliament had to work somewhere and that's where they work all the time so it's really really nice uh, maybe you can see the parliament from here no, no uh, yeah you can see the roof maybe you can see it it, it's fine in the back, this is the government house, and here you have the, the, the parliament here. here. Anyway, and it has a funny story because uh, maybe you remember when I do a parliament video, there is a stateway of a team who is showing the direction of this castle. So this means the emperor had to, uh, back then when the parliament was built in 1880 something, uh, the, the, there was still a monarchy in Austria and uh, the emperor wanted to know immediately what was going on in the parliament so they are team showing them the way where to put it to the emperor in this case you know it's really really beautiful uh, we cannot make videos inside it's prohibited it's not allowed they also have motorbikes it's not just in Bali where I will move <laughs> but anyway Again, the, the president of uh, Austria is working in this house. It's the Josephinian uh, tract, and um, we are going now actually inside the castle, uh, and I show you the oldest part. Let's go. It is the oldest part, built in 1300 something, 
and um, we have a statue of uh, Emperor Franz I or second of course on it is a uh, emperor uh, kingdom because uh, we had a double monarchy back then so uh, both is counting uh, for the uh, emperor as it was the second and for the kingdom it was the first was actually the same person but with a different um, um, meaning you know so this is the oldest part and we're having a very very old block here here as you can see and um, it's a very very nice place and when we go uh, back then here when we are going here it is the uh, Michaela track, uh, which was uh, the, the uh, newer part, and we also have a, a Zuckerbecker, which is basically uh, the, somebody who makes the, the, the sweet. If the emperor wanted to taste some sweet, it was made here. We have a fire department, as you can see, and today we have a, we have a, even on the on the on the watch there is a. A sun uh, watch, so the shadow is uh, showing you the time. If there is a shadow, because um, it's already afternoon, almost 5 p.m. And um, yeah, we are going now to the, uh, in my opinion, most beautiful place here in this castle. It is the Michaela track, and um, it has a very very nice fresco. So join me. Actually, the emperors had not uh, had a wish. They don't want to go out very far when they want to go to church. And the church was this one. It was uh, a very, very old church from the 13th century. We have the, the bank, uh, biggest bank in Austria. It has here the, uh, the main headquarter. And uh, this way, actually, I, I want to tell you about the story in, in, in World War II because um, back then uh, 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 the Germans occupied uh, Austria or Austrian actually joined the Austrian guy ruling Germany that's what it was actually we started the war <laughs> they claim it anyway um, anyway we claim to start the war and uh, isn't this beautiful everywhere you look in the state was but uh, anyway, we started to claim the war, and uh, the, the way I showed you uh, right now is called Herngasse. And in Second World War, uh, there were many, many Jews in Vienna living, and uh, they had their ghetto in the streets. And when the Germans had an hour, we know the story, unfortunately, they shot the whole street. So 
It's a really, really bad and sad story about World War II, but uh, it's also our history. And it looks like a mineral from, from Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. I've been there, it's beautiful, but um, this is like our style, you know. It's beautiful buildings like this, and I really, really like it. So, let's see what I can show you, except for this, because I don't want to go inside with you. We cannot do photos or videos inside. Uh, the castle is prohibited, I told you already. But uh, if you want to go here, please, please, under all circumstances, visit the city museum. It's really, really beautiful. You have so much things from the, the famous uh, emperor, princess back then. And we're actually having a rainbow flags out there, as you can see, uh, because we are having a rainbow parade for um, everybody being equal. And uh, the, it's like the love parade in Berlin back then. We have a rainbow parade around the big ring street where we started before. And it will be, I think, this weekend or next weekend. I think it's this weekend. But anyway, um, it's very famous for people being equal and we are no racist anymore, thank God. But we still claim to be the second unfriendly city in this world after Paris. Uh, Paris is claiming they are the best. Why is Paris claiming that we are the, we are the worst, you know? <laughs> but everybody say, oh no, Paris is more worse. But uh, it's funny because I don't think I am unfriendly. I just don't talk to nobody who everybody looking at me like fucking famous guy, what is he doing? <laughs> but anyway, it's funny and uh, I love to, to show you around in my city and uh, I hope you enjoy it and if you find something I will add and if not, I'm going home editing for you and seeing you in the next video. I think in the next video I will do the What If Church or the Stephan's Church and maybe a church tour from the inner city of Austria and also the parliament I will do and um, let's see what else I will add but uh, basically the most uh, important building is a uh, castle of Schönbrunn it is maybe 15 kilometers outside from here it is uh, a drive with a subway for an half an hour uh, it was uh, the summer residence of the emperors because in summer they went there in the hot city they were outside in their garden this is the uh, actually winter residence when they built uh, the castle of Schindrun. Very, very beautiful. It's a miniature castle like uh, Versailles in, in, in France. And um, it actually was built uh, looking at Versailles and they wanted their own Versailles, so they made a smaller one. But more about uh, this when I do the Schindrun video. So as you can see, I know a lot of history and I know uh, some secret places. So. If you like the video, just subscribe or I don't know, just like it, comment if you want to see something specific. I'm not fighting you. How can I? Through my iPhone, it's not possible. And uh, yeah, speaking of, I'm, I'm just a beginner. It's my third video vlog and uh, please bear with me because uh, my iPhone is, has good video quality, but uh, I need some action camera for the shaking. And also I need a better microphone, that's for sure. But thank you anyway for pairing with me. Have fun, have a nice weekend. See you around. Ciao, ciao. because we entered uh, the subway station from uh, Volkstheater, which is the place uh, beneath the museum and the Emperor's Castle. And it has a very, very nice art. As you can see, check it out. It's very, very beautiful. So we will go down there and I will show you and, and the video just like that. And I uh, hope you are feeling fine. Bismillah, everybody. And enjoy your weekend. Yeah, yeah.